Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a really, really long time since I filmed anything on here or put anything up. And I wasn't 100% sure I was going to start doing videos again, but I love doing them. And when I asked you guys if you wanted to see my new in July verdict in post form or in video form on Twitter, most of you said video form. So I thought, give it a go, see how I feel, see how you guys kind of respond, um, and yeah, and just go from there. I've always loved making videos, so I'm hoping it all goes well and you like it. But anyway, I'm just going to get on with today's videos. So for July, I did something a little bit different, and I'm literally, I've taken the entire Rimmel Insta range, which is one of their new ranges where it's supposed to make you very Instagram ready. Um, there's six products as opposed to five, usually I take five products, but I thought do something a little bit different because I haven't done it for a while and I just really wanted to try out all of these products. So first up is the Rimmel Insta Flawless and this is the Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. So at the beginning of the month I think I wasn't sure on this. I still feel like I'm not sure on it, but I do wear it every day, which makes no sense. I think I like it. Um, it's essentially a bit of a skin tint or like a tinted primer so if you're having days where actually you don't want to wear any makeup this is quite good if you still want a little bit of coverage and I do say little bit of coverage it really doesn't give you a lot um, and or it can be used as a primer and I've been using it as a primer most of the time I personally wouldn't wear it on its own especially this time of year because the SPF is only 15 but yeah, I've been wearing it as a primer underneath the um, Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation and the two together give a really lovely natural finish, a really nice natural glow. It's not like shiny or sweaty looking, <laughs> which I do find some glowy products do make me look. It's nothing like that at all. It's just very, very nice. It just looks very healthy and radiant as the name kind of suggests. So... I mean, the only thing I'd say that it doesn't really do, which it claims to do, is give 24-hour moisturisation, and totally not for me, I have to say. Um, I just think it's actually made my skin drier. I've just been finding my skin, it's just been getting very dry up here, and just along here for me, and it wasn't doing that before I started using this, so I don't know if it's this, but either way, it doesn't give that moisturisation for me. Um, but, I mean, I do like it. I have been wearing it as just like an everyday kind of primer. If I don't want to look really matte, this is what I've been going for. Um, and yeah, it does, it is very, it is nice. Like, so I would recommend trying it if you do like a bit of a radiant primer. Um, or again, if you just want something that you're just going to laser around the house in or something like that, this is quite good. It's just one of those low-key kind of base products. But as I said, it is very light coverage, so please keep that in mind. And it is very light SPF as well, it's only 15, so it's not going to offer you very good sun protection. I've then got the two palettes. So they've got two conceal palettes. There's the Insta Conceal and Correct, and the Insta Conceal, Conceal and Contour. These are very, very handy if you are out and about. So this one basically lives in my handbag, I have to say, the Conceal and Contour one. Um, and this is quite nice. This one, the Conceal and Correct, is a complete no-no for me. So I'll start with this one. I'll start with the no-no. <laughs> so you get three colours in here. You've got um, this sort of peachy colour here, which is for dark circles. And you've got this sort of greeny colour here, which is for redness. And then this lilac, which is for dullness. Now for me, the only one of these I would really use, or have really kind of tried to use, is the peachy colour for dark circles. I'm the world's worst sleeper, so I always have bags under my eyes, so I was quite intrigued to try this. I, I don't think it does anything different to a normal under eye concealer or a normal illuminating concealer, I just don't really think it gives anything extra. Yeah, I just, it doesn't really do much for me, I have, don't really see the point in it. Um, the green one I have tried for redness because, especially sort of at the beginning of the month, my cheeks were a little bit red. Um, but I just found it didn't really blend that well so that when I was still trying to blend it in I was still seeing a little bit of green and there was still a little bit of red so I just didn't really find this useful. I think if I was going to use like correcting colours 
I'd maybe want them to be a little bit more blendable, maybe even in like a liquid formula as opposed to something out of a pan, because I just found that this formula didn't really work for me, the colours didn't really work for me, and it wasn't giving me anything that I wouldn't get from concealers that I've already got. So, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with that one, and I think if you skip any of the products from this collection, that would be the one I would skip. The other one, so the Insta Conceal and Correct, first of all, I thought it had the highlighter and the concealer the wrong way around. I don't think it does, but they're very, very similar. Um, so we've got the highlighter here, we've got the concealer in the middle, and then the contour shade on the end there. So I basically think the highlighter and the concealer are essentially the same product but different shades. I don't really think the highlighter does any highlighting, personally. Um, Every time I tried it, I just feel like I'm actually just putting concealer on as opposed to highlighting. The concealer is very nice for blemishes. I haven't used it under my eye because I don't, I prefer illuminating ones underneath my eyes. So the middle one has been very good for sort of blemish covering and redness covering. It is very good for that. It does offer very good coverage. It doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel like you're caking or it doesn't look like it's caked on. It's just very nicely blendable and it does cover. So I do like the concealer in this. And then the contour, which you'll see, it's kind of really messed up the palette a bit. And I think it's because it's quite a small product in a pan. So when you do kind of put the brush in there to use it, I mean, I use the Real Techniques Contour Brush, which is quite a small brush. You just get it all over the pan. So that's one thing I'm not 100% keen on. It's a very nice contour shade. It is super super subtle so if you are not a contour person if you just don't really like doing it or you're not sure about it then this might be a really good product for you because it's very light it's very subtle it's very blendable and um, I've got the colors I think I've got the light palette it's quite nice just to kind of add some a little bit more color to like your temples um, and just along your cheekbones but it's not going to give you that chiseled contour look so if you do like that this probably isn't the one for you but if you do like something a bit subtle or you're not used to contouring, then this will probably be quite good. But, I mean, these are very, very nice cream products. I'm ignoring the highlighter because I haven't really used it because I didn't see the point. Um, but the concealer and the contour, they blend very nicely. They set very nicely. The concealer and the contour I like, and that's why I kind of carry this around in my bag quite a lot because it's very good just to touch up. But the highlighter is not my favourite thing in the world. That's just my opinion, some people might really like that. So while we're on a contour and a highlight, the next product is the Insta Duo Contour Stick. And I think this is the one I thought I was going to hate. I really did not think I was gonna like this product, and I'm very, very surprised with how much I do like it. So I've got it in the shade Light. So one end you have the contour color, and the other end you have the highlight color, and you can see which one I've been using the most and which one I like. So I'll start with the highlight. Again, I didn't really feel like it did much. Very, very subtle, and I don't know if it's because it is the light one that it's, that's why it's so subtle. Um, but I just, I don't know, I, I prefer it to the palette one because you do actually see a bit of a highlight with it, but I prefer other products I have to highlight, so I haven't really been using it that much. The contour shade on the other hand, just pop that back. Um, I really, really like this. I never thought I was going to be a contour stick kind of person, but I can't get enough of it. It's incredible. So I generally just do it in my temples, and then I take it down and along my cheekbones, and just under my chin. It's very, very blendable. It blends very nicely. It blends very naturally, which is another thing I like about it. I think I've always been scared to use the sticks, because I thought they would just be like really pow contour, and that's not really what I like. So yeah, I'm really happy that it does blend so naturally and it does look subtle enough that you don't look like Kim Kardashian, but <laughs> not subtle enough that you don't know that it's there. Like you can still see you've got that like really nice bronzed contoured look. So I really like this. It stays really, really well as well. Um, and yeah, it's just very, very easy to use, very easy to blend. I really like the finish. It's not too matte it still gives a little bit of like a glow and I think that's because it is a cream product and it's still very warm as well I don't like cool toned contours I just find that it really kind of cools down the rest of my skin which I'm not a fan of so yeah I really really like this I have been reaching for it most days 
pretty much every day. Okay, so product number five, and I think this is one of my favourites from the range. I have loved this, and it is the Insta Fix and Matte Powder. So it's a translucent powder. Let's open it up. It looks white, um, and the pattern did have a load of hashtags on it, I guess, to go with the hashtag Insta range. It is friggin' awesome, this powder. I usually kind of stay away from matte type powders because I feel like it can make me look a little bit too matte or a little bit too caked. But this is really, really nice. It still allows some of the glow to come through from your base products, but it does it in such a way that it tones it down, but you still get like a nice radiant look and a really healthy look. It sets your makeup perfectly. So it doesn't even look like you've got powder on, which I love, and it just sets everything. So those cream products that are from like the rest of the range, I do sort of those and then I put this on before I put things like blusher on because that's I use a powder blusher as well. So I just basically use this to set my cream products and my base and it's awesome at that. It's really, really nice. My makeup stays so well. Nice, it sets things, it stays, you stay matte as well. So especially in the weather we've been having, you don't end up looking all sweaty and oily and horrible, which is always a massive, massive plus. So I really, really rate this powder. I really like real powders anyway. Um, I do always, I've tried most of them out, I think. I've tried a lot of them out, um, but I actually think this is my favorite of the ones of theirs. Really bad grammar. I think this is my favorite of, the one, of their powders that I've used, um, and I am massively recommending this to anyone that has oily skin um, and that just really likes that matte kind of look that doesn't look too caked on. So I think if you want to stay matte and you don't want to be all sweaty and oily, definitely give this a go because it's insane. Really, really rate this. Really like it. And then last but by certainly no means least is the Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I haven't been using this as a primer because I've been using the Insta Flawless as a primer. Um, but I have been using this as a setting spray and again I friggin love it. Really like it. It's probably the first setting spray I've used that I actually like. Apart from the Urban Decay all night or stay all night. That one that everybody loves. Whatever that one's called. Um, apart from that this is the only other one I found that I really really like. I tried one from L'Oreal. I think it was their infallible one. And when I sprayed it it just had left droplets on my skin. And it didn't matter how far away I did it. It always did it which is not what you want. Whereas this comes out much more like a mist. It's very refreshing, which has been awesome. Um, it smells like cucumber, which is lovely. Um, it's oil free as well, which really, really helps again. If you do have oily skin, then it's really nice. It's not going to exacerbate that. And I know from previous experience where my skin has been oily, they do tend to do that. I would also say that it gives a really nice radiant glow. So when I've used like more matte products, um, like my Dior Forever Foundation, Dior, 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 Dior Skin Forever Foundation, that one, that has a very matte finish to it. And when I spray this on top, if I haven't used any other glow products, for example, this kind of still gives quite a nice little glow to the skin. So it just kind of helps add that little bit extra, again, without making you look oily and sweaty. So yeah, really, really like this. So that's it, that is kind of my verdict on those products. I'm quite surprised because I think when I first got them, there was a lot of products in there that I thought I wouldn't like. And the ones I thought I was really gonna like, I potentially wasn't that keen on. So yeah, I think it's been quite good. And it's kind of really got me back into Rimmel as a brand. I definitely wanna go and pick some more pieces up from them. But that range in itself is really, really good. There are some really standout products like the spray, and the powder and probably the duo stick. Those are probably the three that I would really, really recommend. But yeah, but that's it. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to subscribe, please do so. Um, I have also written this all out in a post as well so that people can kind of decide how they want to digest this. Probably so that that should have said that at the beginning. Um, so if, yeah, if you want to read this as well, then that will be linked below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos and what you want to see them on. And yeah, I hope to see you here again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.